Hi there, this is Tim from Mile High Themes. I'm the creator of the Showtime theme. And we're proud to announce the release of Showtime version 6.0, which has a lot of great new features. Rather than type them all out and bore you with text, I decided to record a video to show you some of the highlights of this new version. So let's jump right in. We're on the home page here in uh, Development Soar. And I'm going to go over to the collection page first, because some of the greatest features can be found there. So first of all, one of the major things that we got asked for and support a lot is on mobile, all of your sidebar menus over here show up at the bottom of the page. And so a lot of people wanted to have the filters, the group filtering you see here showing on the top of the page. So the customer would find that and could filter their products easily. So we've decided to change the interface of that. So I'm going to narrow this down to a mobile size so you can see. And the sidebar has disappeared, and it's no longer at the bottom. But now it's been replaced with this filter button that you can click, and a nice little drawer pops out, and you've got your filters and all of your other sidebar content right in this nice drawer. So we think that's a great improvement for the collection page and the filtering specifically. Looking at some of the new settings we have over here, we've got this new feature called Infinite Scroll. And what that does is it eliminates the pagination on pages. So all of your products, as you scroll down the page, will continue to load. See this little animation showing down here, indicating that more products are loading. So these products will continue to load and all of your products from a specific collection will now show on the page all at once. So this is a great feature for people that don't necessarily want to have their customers clicking through multiple pages to find the products they're looking for. But it also has the nice effect of only loading those products as you get to them. So it's not taking cycles and slowing down your website. So that's a pretty cool new feature. Um, and that is, of course, toggled on with this checkbox right here. Um, we also have added the ability to hide the product, sorry, the collection featured image, which is typically a large landscape image that shows right here under the title. This one, this particular collection doesn't have one assigned, but it was pretty common for people to ask how to turn that off because they found it was just too big. So we now have that option right here. You can also hide the sale badge, which shows when a product's actual price is less than the comparison price. I think I said that backwards. The comparison price is higher <laughs> than the actual price. It will show that the product is on sale. And you can hide this now if you wish. We also have added the ability to show the product review stars right here on your collection page. So if you have Shopify's free product reviews app enabled, then you can now show the number of reviews and the star rating on your collection page. And finally, we've added this um, multi-level navigation menu that you can add to your collection pages as well as your regular pages. And you can have up to three levels of navigation in this menu now. So that's pretty handy. This is a great tool for if, for example, you have sub collections of products and you want to show them, um, you can nest your menus to further categorize your products. So now let's go back to, let's jump to a product page now. I'm going to jump to this product and show you a great new feature we have for the product pages called Enhanced Product Description. And what this does is allow you to do a few different things to your product description. You can now split your description into different sections on the product page. So this is useful, for example, if you wanted to create a short description for your product, you could have just a short paragraph up here and not require the user to scroll way down the page in order to get to the cart button and the variant options. Or if you just have a really long description in general, you don't have to have this huge long list of description down the right side of the page and then a bunch of empty space below that. So you can split the description. As you see, we've got half of it up here, another half here. And you can also use it to create custom tabs for your products, which is something that people have been asking for for a long time. 
So previously in the theme, these tabs did exist, but you would have to create them using the theme settings here. And you could choose a page to display in each one. And each product would show the same content for these tabs on every product. And that is useful for things like return policies, about us content, and that sort of thing. But it's not really useful if you want to split up your product description into tabs so people don't have to scroll down the page forever to read all about your product. So now with some simple tagging added to your product description, you can populate these tag tabs automatically. You can also choose the order at which you want the tabs to display. And you can add the reviews for the Shopify product reviews app, app right to a tab, whichever order you want it to appear in. And that's all handled with some pretty simple tagging, and we've got a great support article at our help site that shows how to do that. So be sure to check that out. Now we're going to take a look at the new entry pop-up, which can be accessed in theme settings under this pop-up setting. And previously, if you remember, the entry pop-up was just kind of a boring white box with a heading and some text and then the newsletter sign up and your social media icons and we've enhanced that quite a bit i'll go ahead and enable that put this on no delay so it'll pop right up here and you can see that we have added an option to include a picture as well as the text the newsletter icon or i'm sorry the newsletter sign up box and the social icons will show down here if you have your social network set up, which I don't. You can also choose which side of the pop-up you would like the image to appear on. So it's a much nicer looking pop-up to engage your customers as soon as they visit your site. You still have the option to decide how frequently this pop-up will show for that particular customer, including it'll just show once if you choose never, or it'll show again after a week etc. And you also have an option to set it to no delay for testing and then it'll pop up on every page and bug you to death. But that's a good way to test it out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to turn that off so it won't bug us to death as we continue with this tour. Uh, we've also added some new search enhancements that I'd like to talk about. If you go to search here, you'll see that you can now search just products, or you can search everything in your store, including pages and blog posts, and they'll show in the search results. We also have this option for live search. And what that does is allow you to start typing and search results will show immediately as you type. So that's a pretty handy feature to help people find things a little more quickly on your site. Down in the footer, we have added these icon buttons back to the footer permanently. So uh, when we originally released the theme, those were affixed to the footer and showed on every page. But then when Sections was released, Shopify asked us to make that a home page section. So it was only visible on the home page, and people complained about that a lot. So finally, we got the OK to go ahead and move it back to just the footer. So now these icon buttons are set up right here and they're accessible on every page of your site. So that's pretty handy. Uh, we've also made some pretty minor other formatting changes. We fixed the footer formatting. We now have the ability to fully customize your password page. So before your site launches, you can show the password page to your customers, which encourages them to sign up for your newsletter as they wait for your store to launch. You can also choose a uh, background image for that page and a few other options. So that's a nice feature. We've added a new page template called product.listcollections. And this is a popular customization request that people have if they want to show a subset of collections on a page. You can simply create a menu within Shopify that links to some collections and show a nice grid of those collections on any page you wish. We also have new settings for the collection list page. So you can manually populate this. You can choose to show all collections or select which specific collections you want to show on this page. You can choose the sorting options, how many products show per row. This is set to four, but it's small, so that's why. So 
there we go, showing three because there's only three collections in this particular development store, but otherwise this would show four. And you can now hide or show the number of items that are in each collection. And that's another thing that people have asked for quite a bit. We now have the option in theme settings to control free products. So if your product has zero price, maybe you do not want to show the price. You may might not want to show the cart button. You now have the option to change the text that appears if the price is zero dollars to something like free or call us for pricing or whatever you want. And you can also hide the cart button on these particular products if you wish. And finally, we have this in the social media section, you can upload a social sharing image. So when, for example, someone shares one of your products on social media by clicking one of these icons on your product page, you can choose, well, obviously on products, it will show the product image, but if you were on, say, your homepage and someone was sharing your homepage, then you could specify the social media image and that would show as the image that appears in the user's social media post. So that's a pretty common feature and that people have asked for quite a bit. We've made quite a few additional enhancements that I don't really need to go into at this point, but uh, please be sure to check out our support center and the change log to see all the great adjustments we've made. We've cleaned up a lot of formatting in some areas and just enhance the look and feel of a few things. So that's about it. I mean, we're pretty excited about Showtime version 6.0 and I think you'll really like it. Be sure to check our support center if you have a previous version of Showtime. Unfortunately, upgrading is not a real straightforward process, but we have some help articles to help you do that if you so choose. Otherwise, we think 6.0 is a great version and we hope that you will enjoy it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at milehighthemes.com. Thank you.